Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Two Spoons. I'm Hannah Thunder Annie and I create plant-based recipes. Today I have a very exciting dinner main for you. This is my vegan spaghetti squash with spinach and cheese. The recipe feels so gourmet and cozy. It comes together very effortlessly. There's very minimal ingredients as you'll see here. Very, very simple recipe to put together and I just love those cozy vibes it gives. Another thing that's great about spaghetti squash is that you're getting in a vegetable. When you scoop it open, it's got these like beautiful kind of like ribbons of noodles, which kind of resembles a spaghetti, but it's entirely gluten-free. And so you're kind of left not with that like heavy feeling of eating a pasta dish while still getting all the rewards of a pasta dish, which I'm all for. <laughs> okay, so let me show you how to make this recipe. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by soaking our nuts. So I have some cashew nuts here. This is gonna be the base of that cheese that's gonna go inside of the spaghetti squash, sort of as a filling. Us vegans love using cashews because it's got like a really like creamy, cheesy taste, but obviously there's no cheese. So I wanna soak these in a little bit of hot water. And this is really just gonna help soften the nuts so that when I add them to my blender, they're just gonna blend up really nice and smooth. I don't need to do this for long. 10 to 20 minutes is more than enough time. So I'm gonna set that aside while we chop our spaghetti squash. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this spaghetti squash lengthwise in half. You need a pretty sturdy knife to do this. Um, this is probably my least favorite part about cooking is cutting squash. I just find it so incredibly tedious and difficult, but it's always worth it in the long run. So I'm gonna start at the end. I'm gonna flip it over and do the same thing to the other side. And eventually it just kind of breaks open and you can separate it in two. Another tip, if you're a little bit scared of cutting squash, you can soften it in the microwave for three to five minutes. It does make the chopping easier. I'm just being a little bit lazy. So I'm gonna scoop up the seeds now, and this is where we're gonna put all of that cheesy filling. Okay, so I've got both my halves. They're both empty now. So we're gonna put this on our baking tray. I'm gonna drizzle with a little bit of olive oil. And I'm just gonna massage it in with my hands. And then we'll flip. And we're gonna bake this face down. So we're gonna roast this at 400 for 40 to 50 minutes. So next we are going to make our cashew cream sauce. This is gonna be part of that cheesy base that I was talking about. It's the filling that goes inside the spaghetti squash. So I've got my little blender here. We just need something small. Um, if you have something like a magic bullet, that will work great. Um, so I've already strained these cashews that I soaked in advance. So we're gonna be adding this to my little blender. And then we are going to add a half a cup of hot water. A lot of the times people ask me why I don't just use the soaked water. I don't really have a reason for that, except I just like to start fresh. I feel like the water's been sitting there for a while. Sometimes I soak almonds or nuts overnight. So I just kind of always like to start with a fresh base. So we're gonna put this on the blender now and we're gonna blend this till smooth. Okay, so I'm gonna open this up just to show you how creamy this cashew cream consistency is. I'm just gonna try it because I'm here. Mm. Who would have thought that blended cashews could taste so good? Okay, now we're gonna head over to our stove. We're gonna put all this filling together. So I've got my cashew cream. I've got a little bit of frozen spinach here that I've let thaw, some garlic, some vegan mozzarella, vegan parm, and thyme. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by drizzling the pan with some oil. And we're gonna throw in a little bit of chopped garlic to our skillet. We're gonna cook this up until it's really nice and soft. I just love the smell of cooked garlic in a skillet. 
There's nothing better in my opinion. And then we're gonna throw in the cashew cream. We have some spinach here. And then we're gonna throw in the vegan cheeses. This is really just so that it's gonna get really nice and melted. And same with the vegan parm. So we'll just stir this to combine. I've just used store-bought vegan mozzarella and vegan parm, but I do have a recipe on my blog for vegan mozzarella and a recipe for vegan parm in my cookbook. And if you are finding the mixtures getting a little thick, you can add some splashes of water and it'll just help thin that out. Okay. So now we're gonna add in our spices. We've got some salt, pepper, and thyme. So I've got a quarter teaspoon of salt, an eighth a teaspoon of pepper, which is really just a pinch, and then a tablespoon of fresh thyme. So let's stir that to combine. Okay, this looks really nice and creamy and cheesy, so I'm gonna take it off the heat and we're gonna start filling our spaghetti squash. This is looking nice and soft. Let's get her out. This is already smelling so good. So I'm gonna flip these over and we can fill them with our stuffing. Let's add in that cheesy filling. Okay, and then we can smoothen this out a bit. And we can sprinkle with that last little bit of Parmesan cheese. So I'm gonna put this back in the oven to kind of melt that top a little bit. We're looking around 10 to 15 minutes. Oh my goodness, I cannot tell you how excited I am to eat this. Okay, so let's plate this and then we can dive in. So this has been a really great recipe for me in my pregnancy because unfortunately I have really struggled with nausea this time around. I'm 20 weeks and still suffering from it. And I find that this recipe is really nice because spaghetti squash is already quite neutral. And so the smell doesn't like overwhelm me. And I'm also craving cheesy things. So it really is just hitting all the markers. I've also been finding it really hard to eat vegetables and I feel good about eating this because instead of just always loading up on carbs, which is basically what I've been living on, I get some vegetables into my diet. Okay, this is piping hot and ooey gooey. I cannot wait to taste test this. But another great thing about this recipe is that you can prep it in advance and then just bung it in the microwave for a couple minutes to remelt it and reheat it before you eat. So really, really great if you wanna kind of get ahead of dinner. So let's give this a taste. Oh my goodness. I just love that cheesy, spinachy, squashy flavor. We've really got those like beautiful ribbons and noodles that we're used to seeing in a traditional spaghetti dish, but this is entirely gluten-free, made entirely of vegetables, and I'm into it. Another great thing is I got my bowl right here. <laughs> I don't even need a plate. 
So there we have it, my vegan spaghetti squash with spinach and cheese. As you can see, the recipe is so easy to come together, it requires minimal ingredients. The end result is just so cozy and gourmet. I think you guys are gonna love it for the fall and winter season. And if you do try this recipe, make sure that you let me know in the comments below what you think. I always love hearing from you. And give this video a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can get more vegan recipes with me. I'll see you soon, bye.